I'm Robin, this is Living Simply. Welcome back to another workout with me. Today we're working on hip strength and flexibility and we're starting with some side steps. So just bend at the knees, bend at the hips like you're going into a squat and step to the side and then to the other side. Remember to suck your abs in when you do this to protect your spine. Remember to keep your knees facing directly forwards over your feet. Your knees should be in the same direction as your toes to protect your joints. Like you want me tell you, light time for the plans and they only fell through. Promising, we promising, we kissing and we hug. Yelling and we screaming, now we fighting till we fight it. Till pretend it never happened, now we make it all up. But I ain't got no patience left and you ain't got trust. So we lying to each other and we know it. A message in the bottle when it's cold, it reads. Go and take me away. That was great. Now we're going to go into some side lunges. So put your legs uh, quite wide apart. Then you bite my neck. We're going to bend over one knee, bend over the other knee. And you pull in my pants. Okay, lunge on one side. And we both understand that you're playing the game that we can't even win. Been a cycle so long. Both these first two moves are really good for building mobility, strength, and flexibility in the hips and the knees. And as always, keep your abs engaged when you do any exercise that will just help you with all of your stability so keep you feeling nice and strong and stable. Job. We're going to be getting down on the mat now on all fours and we're going to do some hip circles. So lift your legs straight up to the sky, knee bent, bend to the side and then down again and you're drawing big circles with your knee. We're just going in one direction with the leg going forwards. Remember to move mindfully. You're not rushing to get around the circle. You're really thinking about each point in the circle. Maybe it's more of a triangle since it's got points. Can you tell me what we doing? Curse each other out until our whole day. Okay, move on to the other leg. Forwards again. One direction only today. Get it straight up to the sky, engage your glutes to the side, and then back down. We see this movie before, and we ain't got a plot. It get messy at the end, and we ain't got a mop, a bucket, but fuck it. I wanna talk real shit, but you changed the subject. Got a lot to deal with, but you came above it. Used to hold hands, now we fighting on the public, fighting in the gym, fighting in the bar, fighting on the phone, fighting in the car, walking in the house. I'm yelling who I am, and you yelling who you are. Deep emotional scars. I kiss you, you kiss me. Great job, now flipping over onto the side and do some clown shells. So resting your feet together, lifting your knees up like a beautiful clown shell. Really slowly up and down. That will engage all of your muscles, your legs, but most importantly your hips and your glutes. And as always, suck in your abs. onto the other side, clamshells again, suck your abs in, relax your shoulders, smile, it's fun to work out and it's so good for you. If you can tell, but I'm so tired of <laughs> filming this, it's really late at night, and uh, I'm just feeling tired at this point. So now we're gonna just stretch out our hips after all that work we've been doing. So get into a plank, pop one leg in front of you, and we're going into a what's this called again? I'm definitely tired. Into this lovely stretch <laughs> that feels like pigeon pose. It's a pigeon pose. That you won't trust them, that you won't keep them, that you won't lie, that you won't cheat, that it's not Take nice deep breaths. Feel your muscles just relax and lengthen. Good job, swap to the other leg, so back into plank, then to the left leg forward. Press down onto your legs. Take nice deep breaths. I'm 
amazing job well done thank you so much for working out with me today i hope you were less tired than i was see you soon